Hi guys, I'm Marcel with The Pulse. Um, it's been a busy week. There's a lot to cover today. First, I want to discuss my last video from last week, uh, talking about the fact that NMN, basically the headline was NMN is still available, and it remains still available uh, till this day. Walmart, Amazon, Pro Health, Longevity, Renew by Science, and of course, Do Not Age are all still selling NMN. Now, there was another question about the topic of beta NMN versus NMN, and what's the difference there? Is there a special distinguishing of beta NMN? And others have brought up since the fact that beta NMN is regarded as the active form of NMN, which is being sold today. I still have some questions about MIB-626 based on previous statements that David Sinclair's made about super NED boosters and about altering the form of NMN to bring that, to turn that into a drug, does he feel that the present form, the present day form of NMN is already an altered form that is similar? That maybe is what the FDA is stating. Still, there are a lot more questions than answers. Dan Fabricant of the Natural Products Insider publication, a media uh, website that is dedicated towards covering supplements. He's the CEO, and he tells supplement companies if you're already selling NMN to keep selling it. And as you can see, they are. Um, at some point in time, Amazon did pull NAC off the market. They've not done that with NMN yet. Now they put it back on the market later. I think what Dan's saying is, listen, this isn't a final decision yet. So don't get out of the market until we have some action. To that end, I made a video, a short video, and yesterday I posted it. So if you're not following, if you're not subscribing to uh, Pulse Clips, which is a new channel that has short videos because I don't want to mix them into this channel. It causes disruption and in, in the views on the main long form videos. Uh, go ahead and check that channel out. But essentially, Megan Olson, that clip featured a comment by Megan Olson where she said, essentially, this is not a ban. A warning letter does not constitute a final decision. So there is still ongoing dialogue and the public has a chance to weigh in, which I'm going to talk more about in a moment. So she said, keep selling it if you, as, as well. She didn't come out and say, keep selling it. She didn't give legal advice to supplement companies. She just said, this wasn't a ban, which implies you know, keep selling it until there's a final decision. Uh, it's also very interesting because one of the methods, one of the routes that supplement companies could potentially take is uh, litigation. But you can't litigate until they make a final decision. So it's too early to litigate. So the more likely scenario is that this ends up in Congress. But that could take years to change the laws and regulations governing the FDA. So we could be in a limbo state on NMN for quite a while, or they could come out with an enforcement discretion policy, which they've adopted for NAC back in August, and that would allow companies a path to keep selling NMN. Of course, that could change later, but the longer it's sold, the more entrenched it is into the public mindset as a product, the less likely that probably is. Now, there are a few points I wanna make about NMN. And essentially, first of all, I, I believe it should be sold as a supplement. Uh, David Sinclair's father takes it as a supplement, and he mentioned other family members and friends. I have family members and friends. You guys have family members and friends. I don't believe that NMN should no longer be sold and should only be treated pharmaceutically or with a prescription for rare diseases. He's laid out a path for his Med medicinal version of NMN. And he's stated in the past, um, David Sinclair's words are very public, and he stated these things. So you can go back and watch, which I've been doing over the past few days, going back and listening for things that he said in the past that brought us here, okay? Because he is uh, an inspirer. See, he is an instigator for why the FDA took this action. And matter of fact, in one clip, he even said, I wrote to the FDA asking them to regulate NMN. Does that mean, it, is what he's saying, did he consider his submission of MIB-626 as a request to regulate? And if so, is he trying to own NMN? So, and he's also said many, many times that NMN exists naturally, is a natural precursor to NAD. 
So how can you turn that into a drug? How can you own it? I mean, making a drug out of it or a form of it is one thing, but removing any option for people uh, that want to buy it, I mean, it's also in food. It's in broccoli. It's in avocados. I saw one report that it's in milk. Bottom line is, are we going to remove all the foods containing NMN because the FDA is going to deem it, oh, it's got MIB-626 in it. You can't eat avocado anymore. Now, you can still make NMN without synthesizing it, without um, making that active form. You can make bio from biomaterials, from plants. You can make NMN, but it's, it creates a lot of bio waste. Is, uh, are, the, are the environmentalists going to be on board with all that bio waste? And then again, uh, can you really ban that? Um, beca- can you ban it only because it's synthesized NMN? Well, that would mean that you could ban synthesized vitamin C. It's also synthesized. And if they're saying, well, we can own this, we own the rights to this, what else in our bodies are they going to say they own? Can they own our T-cells? Can they own our blood? Can they own our liver? I, I know it sounds crazy, but to me, what's the difference? If they can own NMN and they can say you can't consume it, where does it stop? That's the point. And I think basically we're in this boat to summarize, to paraphrase some of the experts who have spoken out on this topic this week, um, to paraphrase the the CRN, which is the Council for Responsible Nutrition, we're in this state because drug companies are given precedence over supplement companies when it comes to the rule of law. And this has been stated by Congress in previous decisions that provide oversight or discretionary decision-making by uh, the FDA. They're, they're guided by regulations they can't just change, which is why they had to come up with this discretion policy of enforcing uh, a ban on NAC, even though there was a drug in 1963 that was NAC. So there are some main points that I want to make about NMN for anyone just coming on board, because I think a lot of people are going to be Googling. A lot of people in congressional offices, you may be sitting in a congressional office right now, and you Googled NMN and up popped this video and others. Um, any NMN, by David Sinclair's own admission, is safe. In all of the state safety studies that have taken place with NMN, it's been deemed a safe molecule for human consumption. Um, the second thing about NMN is, as I said earlier, it exists naturally. So it's a naturally existing molecule. Um, The other thing about NMN is it seems to work very well. 80% of people that I've been heard back from about their experience with NMN is it works very well. It gives you energy. It does ABC. Again, David Sinclair, who's trying to own this molecule, has said many times that it works very well and that it's the most effective NAD booster. Now, that's up for debate. That's not totally been proven. I know people that believe NR is a better NAD booster, and I know people that believe NAD infusions is a better NAD booster. But we're going to stick right now for with David Sinclair's position because he's the one that got us all in this situation of this almost banned or uh, quasi-banned of NMN from the FDA. I want to talk a bit about the size and scope of the NMN industry. I don't have final numbers. But I can tell you this, it's got to be over $100 million a year. In in fact, maybe even a few hundred million. And I bring that up because it's established in the public domain as a supplement. It's safe, exists naturally, and is established in the public domain as a supplement. They're citing, because of their rules and regulations at the FDA, they're taking the side of a startup pharmaceutical company that happens to have... David Sinclair, uh, as a co-founder and lead science officer, over hundreds of millions of dollar industry that exists and people are gladly buying the product safely, uh, a supplement in supplement form of of a molecule that exists naturally, and they're happy with the efficacy or the results of it. It strikes me as unfair. It it strikes me as one-sided, and there must be a better way. There must be a better way to do this than to just pick some startup pharmaceutical company. This isn't even one of the huge players. You know, we're not talking about Pfizer staking a claim on NMN. We're talking about a startup. They just pitched a tent 
and filled out some forms, and that's it. That's all the FDA needed. Uh, seems quite crazy. So what can we do? Well, let's focus on some of the positive things. First of all, uh, there, there were two citizen petitions that were said in the uh, Natural Products Insider publication that were stated as the reasons why uh, NAC received this, uh, this enforcement discretion. And we can, you know, fill out a petition. We can petition uh, as a group of people. I would rather see such petitions come from the CRN or one of the other organizations that represent supplement trade companies. And the reason is they're going to be vetted through a, a process of consumer advocacy and by an attorney, ideally. And they're going to, the wording is going to be more effective than something we just draft up on our own. In the meantime, as an expression of support, you can comment below, uh, certainly like this video. And this is not to gain more comments or more likes. Obviously, this topic is much bigger. Matter of fact, I'm talking about teaming up right now with some other YouTube uh, influencers uh, so that we can create a roundtable so that we can reach even more people with our sentiments on this topic of NMN and hopefully defend it as a supplement. It's We're not just defending supplement companies. We're defending your right, my right, my family's right, David Seclair's father's right to continue to take NMN uh, as a supplement. Now, this could be, and again, so again, comment, like, uh, share, and let's get this seen, right? Um, but this could be good. Uh, all of this could be good. I've been saying for many months that we're on a collision course with the pharmaceutical industry. Like, this is coming. It's going to happen. It's inevitable. You can't just tread on their territory. And now you have doctors starting to recommend NMN or NAD shots or even giving the infusions. And so something had to give. And it, we may be, think about what I just said about a startup pharmaceutical company. I mean, if we can't go head to head with a small startup pharmaceutical company and win this battle, how are we ever going to beat the mammoth pharmaceutical entities that are out there, big pharma, okay? How, how are we ever going to stand up to them? However, if NMN can survive these challenges, uh, think about how much easier it's going to be to have a precedent that's set so that uh, going forward, um, things can be uh, a bit more manageable, or at least an argument will have already been made for NMN uh, being t taken as a supplement, it's going to be a lot harder for big pharma to go fight this later. I'm not saying they won't. The more things that get cured by NMN and NAD boosting, uh, the more that we're going to infringe upon their turf and their profits uh, selling drugs for these things. But I think the future is clear. It's clear that uh, treating the system treating the body systemically, the person, and not just the pathogen. I think that is a clear uh, direction that we're going in, and hopefully uh, this turns out well. Subscribe to this channel. I don't normally, I, I always kind of casually ask for subscribers, but I really want to push the point right now because they're going to go, when, when these guys start looking up the topic, they're going to see how many subscribers, how many comments, how many people are actually interested. That's just the way of the world right now. How many people are interested in this topic? Uh, what kind of waves are we going to make if we uphold this decision uh, for the FDA? And whether that's Congress or petitions or litigation or the FDA themselves, they need to hear from all of us and our views on this. And it doesn't all just have to be negative towards the FDA or David Seclair. I understand that sentiment, and I've heard it, and I've seen the comments, a lot of anger. I've had my own anger about the topic, and I'll be talking more about that soon. But for now, let's try to team up, you know, coalesce as a team, and that means other supplement companies, that means other YouTube channels, that means other viewers, that means NR people, that means NAD people. We, we defend our own turf here or, you know, some other molecule could be next. Stay tuned. See you soon.